We've got to talk about this. So a report out in Politico, Mitt Romney's campaign may be struggling, I'll say, but his trans uh, transition operation is moving full steam ahead. Now, folks, without getting into the details, I want to play a little game here for you. I want you to try and figure out which transition is this team working on? Is it A, from a guy who will probably not be president to a guy who will definitely not be president? I guess that's B. Or I guess, uh, is it B, he's moving from a guy who looks down upon 47% of the American population to a guy who's going to look down on 99% of the population. Or is it to a transition from a guy who's gotten help from his five sons to a guy who's now got to finally pay the bills for the work that those five sons put in? Guy who had good relations with uh, five of the sons to a guy who just like only one of them now calls me. Because I spent so much of their inheritance money on this failed attempt to become president. Two! Well, I mean, he's going to have to transition from uh, being a guy who's just uh, barely doing anything to a guy who's doing absolutely nothing. To a guy who's been spending almost two days a week campaigning. <laughs> to a guy who's just going to have to spend time, I don't know. The, the, biggest, uh, the biggest transition, I think, in this country is going to be uh, for the ramping up of production of in-home car elevators. Because Mitt Romney is going to need something to keep himself busy. And I think it's going to be a re redesigning a bunch of houses, probably. It is dubbed the Readiness Project. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess better safe than sorry. It began in earnest after the Republican National Convention not only focused on compile. Now, you know what I want to know? Are you aware? Now, it's, look, it's obviously perfectly appropriate for this to happen, right? We want somebody who has a decent chance, well, someone who has a chance to become president to be prepared. Uh, and, of course, the Romney campaign is very eager not to discuss it because, um, because of the criticism Obama faced when he was already measuring the drapes. And in this case, apparently, uh, Mitt Romney is measuring the mopes. And he's going to do it. I'm sorry about that. And um, they also don't want to talk about it because it makes people laugh. But apparently, um, there's been changes, and uh, these operations now get funding. I'm not clear on how much they get funding. The Pre-Election Presidential Transition Act of 2010 formalized the process for campaigns to begin planning before the election with the General Service Administration providing office space and other resources for the campaign. I am sure we're going to hear from all the conservatives out there about the waste, right? I mean, we hear about all the waste about the president driving Air Force One and how much that costs and that he's got secret service. And then Nancy Pelosi is flying across the country. Well, this is a guy who's not even a government official. These are people who are not even government officials. When are we going to hear the conservatives complain about this? I hope it's soon. I can't wait. I may have to have a whole readiness project for myself so that I can transition into a place where I can hear conservatives complain about this. I don't think we'll hear it. It's only government waste when it's something they feel they can demagogue. 